perspective that allows me to navigate differently and helps me succeed. Brian? Allie, his toughness and IQ a big factor for them. Thanks for that. So here are the Jazz starting five. We've got Colin Sexton, Lori Marketing out there with Jared Vanderbilt. Then it's Kelly Olynyk and it's Conley in at the one. And for the Raptors, Barnes and Siakam serve as the big men as they go small. Van Vliet and Trent Jr. team up as the backcourt and it's Ananobi in at the small forward position. And one word that always goes along with the Jazz, defense. They've been a top 10 defense in the league in six of the last seven seasons. And the Jazz start out with the ball. Connolly with the ball. Pass to Sexton. Olenek with a screen on Trent. Sexton with it. Siakam covering. Shot by Olenek, no good. And with a defense like Utah's had, it's easy to see why they've been a playoff regular. Well, it's always a good idea to put a priority on getting stops. Now, it'll be interesting because they traded away their anchor on defense, Rudy Gobert. Can they live up to the standard they've set the last few seasons? Let's see if it can happen. And it's out of bounds. The Jazz able to retain possession here. Utah ball. Conley against Van Vliet. Conley passes to Olenek. And the basket is good. Oh, that's exactly what Conley is out there to do. Love how he sets his teammates up. Olenek against Siakam. From nine feet out. Yep, that one goes. The defense kind of opened up for him, and he took full advantage. For Utah, they've gone one for three so far. Sexton passes to Markkinen. Sexton against Trent. Sexton, that's good. Sexton. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Now here's Siakam. There's the drive. And now it seems Siakam is in his prime. How do you see his place in the league, Grant? Well, I really like him, but he seems to be an elite second option. Not At sure if you want to build an entire Raptors. offense around him, down, but certainly down. has proven to be At an important piece two. to a championship level team. That free throw, no good. And what impresses you about Pascal Siakam is his tremendous length with an intimidating 7 3 wingspan. Sure. 
Yeah, no luck at the stripe this time. Second one won't fall. I think what you love about Pascal Siakam, he never stops working on his game, and he's self-motivated. And that length of Siakam really comes in handy on both ends, Smitty. B.A., he's tough to guard because he's able to get his shots up over most guys due to that length. And then on the defensive end, capable of guarding the post and the perimeter. Now here's Sexton. And you can count him. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. That's his first. You want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. Sexton, no good on the free throw. The Raptors are taking a patient approach. They understand to get back to a championship level, they've got to grow from within. Now here's Trent. Here's Siakam. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Gary Trent Jr., his teammate, was so open, he could have passed it with his eyes closed. And here's Sexton. Outside Olenek. Back to Sexton. Pass to Conley from outside the arc. It's hauled in by the Raptors. And despite setting their sights on the future, Smitty, last season, the Raptors still claimed the fifth seed in the East. Exceeding expectations, that's what they do. And with their great player development program, they have every reason to believe they'll continue to improve. The value of good Thank ball you. isn't lost on this squad. Olenek with the screen on Trent. Sexton passes to Olenek. Count the basket. Kelly. Thought Olenek got hit on the release, but at his size, he just absorbed it. Conley against Van Vliet. Pass to Trent. This one for three. Almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. Well, the past few seasons, the Jazz have become serious playoff contenders. You know, B.A., with high expectations, they haven't reached their goal. Now, this franchise definitely has their sights set on the ultimate prize, their first championship. Three shots. Three shots. That's good from Trent. And Smitty, the Toronto Raptors, the lone Canadian team in the NBA. They take great pride in that. Since the Grizzlies relocated to Memphis in 2001, Canada has belonged to the Raptors. B.A., you can tell they take pride in this. They don't just represent the city of Toronto, but the entire country. Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. No team has had to make more sacrifices than Toronto during the pandemic. You are right about that, B.A. I mean, they had to change their home base to Tampa. In essence, they spent an entire season on the road. It was tough for everyone, but the Raptors faced some big challenges. The last one's off. They'll settle for two. For Utah, new ownership taking over in 2020. In addition to that group, NBA legend D-Wade. Great to see an ex-player get a piece of the pie. Now here's Conley. The three from Sexton. Barnes with the rebound. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Here's Siakam. He got a piece of it. A fearless big man. Olenek isn't afraid to challenge opponents on their shots. Conley against Van Vliet. Conley passes to Markkinen. Back to Conley. Just five to shoot over Van Vliet. Utah, the rebound. Outside Conley. Markkinen with a screen on Van Vliet. Here's Conley. And that one's long. 
Well, like D-Wade in Utah, Smith, do you think there'll be more former players getting some equity in teams? Yeah, absolutely. I think it'd be great for the game. That's one of the biggest pieces of the equality puzzle, having more owners with different backgrounds and experiences. Now here's Van Vliet. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That is first. It's on Laurie Marketing. He's always pressing the action. Van Vliet just never backs down. Makes him hard to contain. Van Vliet taking two shots. Shoot two. Now they lead as the free throw drops in for him. And guys, so many great players coming out of Canada. The Raptors have converted a nation, not just watching basketball, but to playing it as well. Horton Tucker, he's checked in for Utah. Clarkson comes in for Sexton. Both free throws, good from Van Vliet. And Grant, you think back to those early Raptors jerseys with the big dinosaur. They admit it was aimed at the kids. Yeah, of course. I mean, rather than win over the older hockey fans, they went after the younger generation. And now they're all grown up and packing the seats. You don't want to let them get into a rhythm from out there. Tread outside. Pass to Ananobi. And lead with it. Outside Barnes. Siaka with a screen on Vanderbilt. And again, Toronto, no good. The Jazz have gone 5 of 12 in this first quarter. Then lead against Clarkson. Oh, Siakam with the block. The massive wingspan of Pascal Siakam, an aggressive defender who uses his physical advantages to stifle shooters. Now here's Van Fleet. Line with a three. Yeah, you know, he usually makes you pay from that range. Pass to Conley. Back to Clarkson. Here's Markkinen. No luck on that one. And it's Toronto taking it the other way. Barnes passes to Siakam. to Van Vliet. Off the mark there with a three. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Conley passes to Markkinen. Here's Clarkson. Fires for three. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Siakam's got four rebounds now. And there's 138 left in the first quarter. Can't connect from short range. That's the shot you hope for. Right at the rim. Just couldn't capitalize. Pass to Conley. Markin it up top. He's covered by Siakam. Markin it. The pass to Clarkson. Counted from distance. And the Jazz lead by six. The height to see over the defense and the unselfishness. Time out, time out. Terrific pass by Markin. And Toronto calls time here. So Toronto going with almost an entire new group here. Birch, he's checked in for Pascal Siakam. Achua comes in for Barnes. Porter Jr., he's checked in for Ananobi. And it's Flynn in for Trent. left to play in the first. Van Vliet against Clarkson. Achua with a screen on Beasley. Down to five on the shot clock. Achua with the dunk. One of the cases where height failed to tell you the whole story. Okay, outside. With your six. 
Beasley for three. They get it again. Hey, shot is good. Rudy Gay. Yeah, despite the injuries he suffered in his career, Rudy Gay remains a pretty good athlete. The Raptors have gone four of nine in this one so far. Van Vliet outside. Pass to Flynn. Let's it go from deep. Rebounded by Gay. On offense, here's Utah. A big stretch here going. 10 to 2. Here's Clarkson. Out to Beasley. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Goes back up. And the layup is good. And the Jazz lead by eight. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Fires, top of the key. Good. He hits the jumper. I mean, an excellent ball handler who varies his pace. Van Vliet knows how to create separation. And so it's the Utah Jazz with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. Back to the game after this break. Pretty obvious. I mean, cashing in on extra opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. You can do everything else right, but if you fail to take care of the defensive glass, you're killing your chances. Fred Van Vliet out there with Malachi Flynn. Then there's Achua. Then there's Otto Porter. And it's Birch in at the five spot. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. It's stolen by Olenek. Okay. We've seen a lot of coaches make the transition from college to the NBA. Smitty, what are the biggest challenges in making that move, you think? I think gaining trust from your players is totally different from the NBA in college. Also, the pace of the game. Not the speed of the players, but the flow of gameplay itself. And finding the soft spot in an NBA defense is much harder than it is in college. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Well, guys, Pascal Siakam's play had dipped for a while after he got the big bag. He said it was like you got the max contract, but are you the guy? That's something I really struggled with. But there's still another level that I can get to, and I see myself as an all-star, and there's a lot more to unleash. Brian? Yeah, just now entering his prime, Allie. Thank you. Gay, and he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's his first person. In recent years, we've seen the evolution of Rudy Gay. He's transitioned from a starter and a go-to really score to an Taking important option shots. off the bench. And he drops the first. Well, talking about Gay. People seem to forget that he averaged 19 a game over a 10-year span. And B.A., we've seen a lot of guys like that struggle when asked to take on a new role. But not Rudy Gay. He's aged gracefully and continues to make an impact as a veteran leader. Mike Conley's checked in for Utah. Both free throws good from Gay. A talented, versatile player who has been on a few teams. Rudy Gay is still going. Stolen by Olenek. Outside Conley. High arcing shot. And the layup is up and in. And the Jazz lead by eight. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for Utah? For me, they're turning defense into offense. Creating opportunities by taking the ball away. Great effort. And another area of strength has been their offensive rebounding, converting a lot of those second chances. Pass to Trent. Barnes the screen. Trent shot is off. The Jazz shooting an average of 43% for the floor. Gay against Trent. Gay the pass to Conley. Back to Gay. Tipped. 
Here's Barnes. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Showing the grit. Scotty Barnes holds his own in the paint. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Pass to Horton Tucker. Now Olenek. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Precious Chua picks one up. You know, they try and stifle Olenek, but his physicality lets him work right through it. Kelly Olenek. Two shots. First one at the line is good. A physical big man who won't back down from anyone. Every team could use a guy like Kelly Olenek. Pascal Siakam, he's checked in for Toronto. Markkinen's checked in for Utah. Vanderbilt comes in for Horton Tucker. He makes one or two that time. For Toronto, they've gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Here's Flynn. He's guarded by Conley. Sexton against Trent. Over Sexton. Trent's shot is off. Utah leading. Outside Vanderbilt. Pass to Markkinen. Here's Conley. Ooh, excellent D there from Barnes. Yeah, we're not used to seeing him get bottled up like that. Wow. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter. Here's Siakam. Uses the glass on the layup. Siakam's got six. He's such a long wing player. Pascal Siakam can operate down low. Vanderbilt to pass to Sexton. Olenek with a screen on Trent. Outside Vanderbilt. Five to shoot. Outside Sexton. Puts up a three. Barnes with the rebound. Barnes has got rebound number five here tonight. Right side, Ananobi. Here's Flynn. Looking for his first basket still in this one. The three ball drills it from deep. And now just a two-point Utah lead. That's a shot the defense looked like it was willing to give up. Big mistake. Sexton passes to Conley. Mark it in outside. Rebounded by Flynn. Easy chance for mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. So they take the lead. Barnes has got five points now in the quarter. Nice, quick decision from Scotty Barnes, and he knocks it down. Conley passes to Markkinen. It's stolen by Barnes. Down low. And Siakam with the slam. Got to give him credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point of the game. They got to be more composed in these moments. We talk about it time and time again. Turnovers are costly, especially when the game is close. And some changes here for the Raptors. Young, he's checked in for Ananobi. And Fred Van Vliet is subbed in for Flynn. Azabuki, he's checked in for Utah. Clarkson comes in for Mike Conley. Five points in the quarter. Markkinen finds Clarkson. Markkinen with a screen on Trent. Sexton against Van Vliet. No good off the back of the rim. And it's Toronto's ball. They're on a 14-5 run. Siakam outside. 
so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It gives Siakam credit for putting pressure on the defense, forcing them to get aggressive with him. At the line for Toronto. Pass down, Siakam. Two shots. Shooting two. And he makes a first. Siakam hits them both. Utah with the ball. It's a five point game. Marking it outside. Back to Clarkson. Marketing in. The pass to Clarkson. Nails it from three. Clarkson's got six points. The defense decides to gamble off him, and he cashes in. I was glad to see Jordan Clarkson win the sixth man of the year award in 2021. He did more off the bench that season than most starters. Vanderbilt finds Clarkson. 141 left in the first half of this game. It's so hard to keep the defense honest when you miss wide open looks like that. Marketing against Siakam. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his second. It's on Laurie Marketing. Tough to contain Siakam around the rim. He has underrated strength. And you know that six-man trophy for Clarkson was probably long overdue study. It was, B.A. He embodies that award. An impact guy, an instant spark when he comes in. Jordan can swing the momentum their way in a hurry. That's good from Siakam. Porter Jr., he's checked in for Toronto. And Utah with a change here, too. Beasley's checked in for Sexton. Siakam hits them both. 124 left in the second quarter. Trent against Clarkson. Markkinen with a screen on Trent. Kicks it out to Markkinen. The three. And it's Toronto with a rebound. Siakam's got seven rebounds in the game. Rebounded by the Jazz. Clarkson outside. The three is up. That one is off. And it's Toronto taking it the other way. Young, the pass to Trent. Siakam against Beasley. From nine feet out. Vanderbilt pulls it in. Vanderbilt's got five rebounds in the game. Clarkson passes to Markkinen. And Markkinen with the stuff. The ability to play inside out. The more Markkinen attacks the rim, the more he creates opportunities for their perimeter game. Van Vliet, the pass to Young. And a great assist by Van Vliet as that one goes. And the Raptors lead by four. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Trent against Clarkson. Outside Vanderbilt. Three seconds left. Good work there as it goes. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the end. And so it's Pascal Siakam making highlights for the Toronto Raptors. Between the scoring and rebounding, an excellent period. We'll be right back after this word.
you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Man, what can you say? Pascal Siakam, an impressive effort here today. Yeah, he's showing off how skilled he is at attacking the defense and converting at the line. It's a part of his game that he can always tap into. There's an art to it, and he is painting the canvas tonight. Kicking off the second half, here's Will Hardy's five. We've got Mike Conley. Kelly Olenek is out there with Laurie Markkinen. Then there's Colin Sexton, and it's Vanderbilt in at the three spot. Conley. Oh, can't tie it up as that one misses. The Raptors for the lead. Siakam finds Trent. Now here's Barnes. Outside Ananobi. Barnes passes to Van Vliet. Lock at four. Trent from long range. Fires in the triple. Trent's got seven. I love watching the three-point ability of Gary Trent Jr. He's someone you got to lock up on the perimeter. Olenek with a screen on Trent. Here's Sexton. No good on the shot. Ooh, excellent D there from Barnes. Toronto's gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. The drive by Siakam. And that one's good. And now it's a seven-point Raptor lead. An excellent ball handler for his size. Pascal doing damage going downhill. Outside Sexton. Looking to get it going. Excellent D there from Siakam. The Raptors have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. To the left side wing. And the layup is good. 16 points for him. They're really settling into a nice rhythm now. Starting to gain the upper hand. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Olenek finds Sexton. Can they get it? And it's good on the layup. You've got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out. He brings it. Out left to the wing. Back to Van Vliet. Let's go with a three. And the Raptors, another three. Elevating his playmaking over time, Siakam recognizes when his teammates have clean looks. Outside Olenek, pass to Sexton. On the take. And that one's good. Oh, Sexton. Sexton's got four points in the quarter. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in, coming off that pick. To the middle. Here's Van Vliet. That one goes. Count it. What agility from Fred Van Vliet in the paint, and zipping around the defense. And when you look at Van Vliet on the floor, you would think he gets targeted on defense. But for a player his size, he more than holds his own. Olenek up top. He's covered by Siakam. Siakam against Olenek. Toronto grabs the miss. Barnes has got a seventh rebound here tonight. And Van Vliet, a very solid defender at his position grade. Not great length, but strong as any, B.A. I mean, he has great hands to bother the ball handler and great defensive IQ that makes the most of his athleticism. Conley finds Markkinen. Vanderbilt with it. Back to Markkinen from behind the arc. Rebounded by Trent. Siakam with the jam. The coaches have to love when Pascal Siakam gets in a scoring groove. He's capable of making a big impact on the scoreboard. And the Jazz call time here. The Jazz with the some changes. Achua's checked in for Pascal Siakam. Boucher comes in for Scotty Barnes. And it's Flynn in for Trent.
passes to Conley. On the wing, Clarkson. Shot clock at six. Over Van Vliet. The Jazz with another miss. For Toronto, they've gotten six of eight shots to go and looking good since the break. There's the triple. The rebound by the Jazz. Gay's got four rebounds in the game. Now here's Clarkson. He's got six. Olenek. Tip back in for two. olenek has got seven points in the game. Trying to attack the heart of that defense with great teamwork. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Rebound, Utah. Conley passes to Gay. Conley with the ball. Olenek with the screen on Achua. Conley finds Olenek. The lead now in single digits. Nine points in the game. Beautiful pass by Conley coming off the pick. Sometimes on defense, it's pick your poison. Here's Flynn. Outside Ananobi. His first shot coming late. And no good. And Utah will come the other way. Here's Gay. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's his first personal foul. You know, guys, he was selected all the way back in 2006. Shabuti Gay is still going. One of the final players from the draft class active in the league. Shooting two. Free throw good from Gay, and for Rudy Gay, over 15 years in the league, Grant, how is he still effective? Well, B.A., Rudy has changed the way he plays over the years. He came into the NBA exclusively playing the three. Now he's a power forward, even runs a bit as a small ball center as well. Porter Jr., he's checked in for Flynn. Azubuki, he's checked in for Utah. Beasley comes in for Mike Conley. Both free throws good from Gay. Toronto has gone two for five from three since halftime. Boucher outside. Here's Van Vliet. And again, no good by Toronto. Utah trailing here. Pass to Horton Tucker. Here's Gay from deep. Gets the three to fall. Gay's got nine points. This is the confidence Rudy has in himself. Looking to score as soon as he gets the rock. Van Fleet, the pass to Ananobi. Now Boucher. Six on the shot clock. Launches it. The rebound by Beasley. On offense, here's Utah. They're rolling here. Nine unanswered. On the wing, Clarkson. And again, it's Utah with a three. And you look at how they've come out in the second half. It's almost like night and day. In this half, a more entertaining one. The pace is picked up, tougher defense, better ball movement. Time called here. The Raptors decide to talk it over. Ladies and gentlemen, your Raptors, you Dempsey. Making a change here. Trent's checked in. Let's hear it. See you back for Lilbaz. Here's Boucher. Oh, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Pass to Trent. Van Vliet outside. Shot clock at five. 
And again, no good by Toronto. The Jazz have gotten six of their first 12 shots to drop in this third. Oh, it's Gay with the jam. This is something Gay does wonderfully. An insane dunker who loves finishing strong at the rim. Van Vliet, the pass to Boucher. Back to Van Vliet. On the money with a shot from the left block. Van Vliet's got 11 points. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Screen by Gay. Beasley for three. And again, it's Utah with a three. That assertive mentality. I mean, just rising up from deep and training it. Pass to Porter. It in with a nice touch off the window. Porter's got his first bucket in this one. Well, part of Porter's efficiency comes from good decision making. Gets the shot he wants and doesn't hesitate. And we've just finished the third quarter. What a tight game we've got going. Jazz out in front, leading by a point. And time to step away quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. Time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. Now, I know he's a big man, but he's got some point guard in him if he's making passes like this. Let me tell you, when you can run offense through your bigs, you give the defense just another thing it has to try and take away. Locked in a very close contest. This fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Van Vliet and Trent Jr. team up at the backcourt. Scotty Barnes is out there with Kim Birch. And it's Siakam in at the center position. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. And that one's good from Conley. You know, he's wiry strong. Conley's made a living taking contact and making shots. From ten feet away. And there are the Raptors with another bucket. And that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, you go to your most trusted guys. And it was great execution. Clutch effort all the way around. Olenek with the screen on Van Vliet. Connolly with the ball. Siakam covering. Gordon Tucker on the wing. The kick to Olenek. Here's the three. Rebound by Van Vliet. Toronto trailing. few possessions into the fourth. Just over a minute play. Here's Siakam. That's it. Coming off an assist from Barnes. Barnes has got three assists in the game. You can't teach court awareness. Barnes understands when his guys are uncovered. Beasley. Pass to Olenek. Pass to Conley. Over Van Vliet. The shot by Conley. No good. Toronto shooting at about 51% for the game so far in this one. Outside Barnes. Back to Van Vliet. Trent outside. Barnes with it. He's guarded by Conley. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. And now a three-point Raptor lead. Great to see players still working the in-between areas. There wasn't much resistance defensively. Pass to Conley. Marking it inside. Birch on him. Here's Horton Tucker. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That is going to go on Kim Birch. Horton Tucker is a scorer. Someone that tries to give his team a joke of energy. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Raptors. I think they've looked to dump it down low as often as possible. And so far, they've been super successful using this attack. Another thing, we can give some love to the big men. Terrific post play tonight leading to efficiency on offense. The first one falls. And Anobi, he's checked in for Birch. Colin Sexton's checked in for Utah. That 
one falls. So he hits both of them. The Raptors have gone a perfect three for three here in the fourth. Siakam against Olenek. Nifty move. Siakam, no good. For Utah, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Stolen by Siakam. If you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Van Vliet, the pass to Siakam. Kobe for three. The rebound by the Jazz. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. Connolly finds Sexton. Marking in with a screen on Van Vliet. Here's Sexton. The shot from the low post is good. And the Jazz lead by one. Neither team able to build the lead and sustain it. After six lead changes, it feels like it could come down to one big play. Siakam with a screen on Sexton. Back to Van Vliet. Just five on the clock. Utah foul. Taylor Horton. The Jazz making a switch here. First Vanderbilt's foul. checked in. First team foul. Jazz substitution. Jared Vanderbilt. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Marketing against Barnes. Five on the clock. And an Obi for three. Good D by Vanderbilt. The Jazz have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Outside Olenek. Sexton beyond the arc. Barnes with the rebound. Barnes has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Siakam against Olenek. Basket counts. Siakam's got 24. Good defense, better offense. Through hard work, Siakam's become a number one scoring option. Sexton passes to Markkinen. Markkinen with a screen on Trent. Markkinen outside. Takes the three. Sends it home now from three-point land. From distance, Markkinen with the picture-perfect mechanics and the height to almost always get a clean look. Olenek against Siakam. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his first personal battle. And a moment Second to look at the scoring down. approach in terms of where the points the are coming from here for Utah. It's just a passing yeah. clinic from them at in the this game. Solid communication and unselfish play all around. Yeah, the other thing they're doing is absolutely scorching the net. Red hot from outside all game long. That one's off. And he sinks the second. And here's Conley. Olenek with a screen on Van Vliet. Conley passes to Olenek. Yes, it's good. That's a veteran play by Kelly Olenek. Helps this team with that bucket. Van Vliet against Conley. Siakam, left side. It's tipped and stolen by Sexton. Out to the right wing. Markkinen with a screen on Van Vliet. Conley passes to Markkinen. And Markkinen with the stop. Lowry Markkinen making his presence felt as this game heats up. Trent with a screen on Conley. Over to the left wing. Here's Siakam. And again, no good by Toronto. Here's Utah. They're on an 11-3 run. 
Conley finds Olenek. Outside Sexton. Six to shoot. Conley against Trent. A shot by Conley. No good. Toronto has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. And there's a whistle. That goes on Pascal Siakam. It's his first foul of the game. A great job to establish position and square up. Timeout called the Jazz. The Jazz the timeout. They're ahead by five. 141 left in the fourth quarter. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Ali. During that break, the coach of the Jazz had some words for his team. He told his squad to pour on the gas, saying, quote, we hold the lead. Let's keep growing it. Be aggressive. This is no time to let up. Great work, Ali. Thanks. left to play in the fourth quarter. Conley passes to Olenek. Pass to Sexton. Over Trent. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. The Raptors have got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. And Siakam with the slam. I'll tell you, Siakam's earned these opportunities. He can get you buckets when you really need them. Sexton against Trent. Sexton misses. For Toronto, they've gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. And an Obi for three. It's good. And give the assist to Siakam. What a game. Tight score, pressure's on, and an Obi showing no fear. it up top, guarded by Trent. Oh, whoa, that is as clutch as it gets. Big time clutch. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. Timeout called. The Raptors. They trail by two. There's 49 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Seconds left in the fourth quarter here to take the lead. Barnes, no good. Grant, they'd love to milk the clock here. No question. They're in a great situation right here. New players in the league do a better job of finding the open man than Mike Conley. And looking for a quick bucket here. They have very little time to run a play, and then, of course, they also need to foul. You want your bigs playing big. Rips it down and trade. And now we've got an intentional foul. Second team foul. And an intentional foul right there. Terry Trent Jr. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. Shooting for Utah. Club and Sexton. Two shots. was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And he ends up making the second. And that puts him up five. Time called here. The Raptors decide to talk it over. They're trailing by five. 24 seconds left to play in the fourth. I work very long. Who wants one? Fantastic man! 
24 seconds left in the fourth. Trent finds Siakam. Oh, Lennox with some nice D. And that's an intentional foul. Siakam. That's his second personal foul. 14 foul. Shooting for Utah. Kelly Olenek taking two shots. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to go. That's good. Going one of two from the line. And that increases the lead to six. The three from Barnes. The rebound by Markkinen. And they go to the intentional foul. Gary Trent Jr. That's his second personal foul. 15 down. Shooting for Utah. Good on the first. And that makes it a seven point lead. So he gets them both. And it's an eight point ball game. Five ticks left in the fourth quarter. Outside quarter. The shot to stop the run. Misses there. So we see the Jazz get the win here. Exceptional effort on the road. They were ready and they were focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Mike, congrats on the win. What's it like playing with a team that is this tied together? I feel great, man. It's fun. It's fun to be around these guys. It's fun to, to play jazz basketball when that ball moves and guys are so unselfish. And, um, you know, that's why I'm here. I love to be a part of it. You can tell you're clicking on all cylinders. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Steve Smith, this is Brian Anderson with our 2K Sports crew signing off. Now it's time to present our New Balance player of the game, Kelly Olenek.